Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. The application period for Kyungi Province's College Tuition Loan Interest Support for the first half of 2021 will run from December 28th to January 29th. Support is available to undergraduate and graduate students, as well as to those who have received a tuition loan from the Korea Student Aid Foundation, with either themselves or immediate family members having been registered as residents of the province for at least one year prior to December 28, 2019. The interest covered by the support includes that incurred during the second half of 2020 on any tuition loan received for the second semester of 2010 or thereafter. Applications are being received online via the related website. Kyungi Province has secured a national subsidy of 4 billion Korean won for the restoration of the Gyoway Rail Line, which was shut down 16 years ago with a targeted reopening in 2023. On December 29th, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung signed an agreement with Goyang City Mayor Lee Jae Jun, Weijungbu City Vice Mayor Ahn Byung Yong, and Yangju City Vice Mayor Jo Hak Su, the three cities through which the Gyoway Line runs, on cooperation in this initiative and its inclusion in the fourth National Railroad Network plans. During the meeting, Governor Lee stated that he anticipates this rail line will serve as part of solid transportation infrastructure that will help realize the balanced development of Kyunggi Province. During the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, Kyunggi Province has made disaster basic income payments to provincial residents as a primary economic relief measure. The province recently assessed the effects of these payments, which had also triggered social discussion using related big data analysis. It was found that, after receiving a disaster basic income payment of 100,000 Korean won, each resident spent 185,000 Korean won. On December 18th, an online concert was held to convey support for the reopening of the Gaesong Industrial Complex in North Korea and for peace on the Korean Peninsula. Titled Gaesong Connection Concert, this event was held at the Kyunggi Arts Center without an on-site audience. Instead, it was streamed live via the YouTube channel of Oh My News TV. The concert featured the music group Urinara, the musical company Himangse, and the brass band G Brass Ensemble. On December 30th, Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung and Samsung Electronics CEO Kim Hyung Suk signed an agreement to collaborate in fostering cooperation between large enterprises and SMEs. Based on the concept of fairness, a core value pursued by the Kyunggi Provincial Administration, this agreement focuses on the establishment of complementary and cooperative relations between large enterprises and SMEs with the former sharing experience, capabilities, and innovative know-how with the latter, moving beyond mere technological support. According to the agreement, Kyunggi and Samsung will jointly invest approximately 21 billion Korean won in seven projects, including the development of smart work environments and advanced technology sharing platforms, as well as marketing support for promising enterprises. Kyunggi Province recently inspected parking management at public facilities. At more than 60% of the locations inspected, parking control was not being enforced in zones reserved for emergency vehicles. Together with 22 civilian auditors, inspectors focused on the designation of no parking zones, the effectiveness of such designations, the designation of high-risk areas, and the installation of relevant signage. At more than 4,000 locations where no parking zones were not properly designated, and at more than 1,500 locations where no relevant signage was installed, the province will remedy the situations through coordination with related agencies by next year. Next year, a number of administrative changes will be seen in Kyunggi Province. The province will expand the services of the public delivery app Delivery Express, 
Introduce Account Receivable Insurance Cost Support for SMEs, Begin Full-Fledged Operation of the Kyungi Transportation Corporation, and Launch Kyungi Style Sports New Deal Projects. In addition, the province will also introduce a local food direct delivery support program and significantly expand support for the provincial wheat industry through an increase in production promotion support and procurement funds. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.